Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cody. Um, basically, going to be showing you guys real quick what I've been working with for about the past week. Um, I'm working with this program called CryEngine 3. Um, I'm basically just making a name here. Um, I want to show you guys basically what I've been learning, and I want to kind of, you know, show my friends and family what I've been learning as well. Um, this is all self taught. Um, I've been watching tutorials all week, and I just kind of wanted to make one sort of myself and show people, and then also, you know, try to see if anybody of my friends want to get interested in this program. Um, I'm a complete beginner, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to school, I start school uh, in January, for, um, and that's basically where I'm going to be learning all the coding side of everything. Um, and I'm going to try to, you know, basically just stick with the community and try to see, you know, what I can learn from them. Um, a lot of people said, you know, and this is basically going for both, you know, YouTube and Facebook. Um, so I'm going to talk in two different ways, but um, we're going to start off here. Uh, this is basically what you start off with. Um, I'm getting really low FPS right now because I'm recording, but um, anybody wants to know, I'm also running... Uh, Intel Core 2 Duo, uh, 2 gigs RAM DDR2, and not even a that great of a video card. It's like a 6450 1 gig DDR3. So um, basically, this is what we start off with. We're going to go to terrain, and this is where we're going to start off with our map. I already made a mark, so I'm going to hit erase. And uh, what we're going to start off with here is I'm going to go ahead and start off with the big brush, and we're going to go to flatten. And I'm going to set the height to 21. Now, the thing you want to notice is, like, if I set this to 21, right, and I decide to change my brush, it will automatically change back to 100. So make sure you remember that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set this to, actually, I'm going to set it to 20. Um, and then we basically just drill away. And as I'm doing this, I'll continue talking about. Um, basically, like I said, I'm, you know, I'm going to be going to school in January for video game design and software development. Um, if this doesn't work out, I'd like to use the coding uh, that I learned from school, maybe even design apps and stuff like that, but I really hope that something good happens from this, because I feel like I've learned a lot just in a week. Um, but basically, um, you know, I read a lot on the forums, um, a lot from the community, you know, at, you know, reading people what they said, you know, what to start off with for beginner, and, um, you know, Unity is a good program. Um, I met, I have it too. And uh, I just had a harder time learning. I don't know why with it, but I just did. Um, with this program, I love the graphics. And even if it's a little harder and it's going to take a little bit more coding from what I've read, I'm willing to learn it just so I can use this program just because I do feel comfortable with it. Now, I may be completely wrong and I may not even like it eventually and may switch back to Unity. And I have seen some amazing games come from Unity. Um, as far as from watching online, um, and honestly, the best way I've learned is is from tutorials um, and asking people on forums. But basically, what I have going on here is um, I'm basically just creating an island and then connecting them to two. Um, we'll put an island right here and a island right here. Kind of looks like a ninja turtle, except a ninja. That works. Anyway, um, ninja turtle. <laughs> anyway, so what we got going on right here, um, basically we'll kind of close out of this and we'll zoom out. Holy crap, it does look like a Ninja Turtle. It's kind of sweet. Anyway, so this is basically what we have created. Um, I did this different this time. Um, so what we're going to do next, uh, we're going to go into smoothing. Um, basically smooth everything down. I'm going to use the big brush just because it's quicker. And basically what we're going to do is just go all around the edges, all around the main area, and it's just basically we'll just smooth out all the roughness of the program. I cannot look at this thing without laughing. Um, as you can see right there, like I just clicked, you saw some of that, um, some of the land go down. It's basically just smoothing it out, making it, um, taking kind of some of the slope out of it, and uh, just overall just making self-explanatory. Basically, just going to smooth all this up. I'm trying to do this kind of quick. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep for some reason. And uh, smooth all this up. And like I said, this is what I've learned in just a w last, like, last few days. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show people. And I actually wanted to show some of my friends. You know, Actually, if anybody wants to do a collaboration with me or any of my friends would like to maybe learn the program,
program and um, you know maybe help and get on with the thing um, you know obviously this is just more about getting used to the program um, so basically what we have here is we have our large map of Ninja Turtle and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna change the textures now I've only figured out how to change the textures of all the land. I have not figured how to change it in sections. So if anybody can show me that, I would greatly appreciate it. So what we're going to do is either we can go to Terrain up here and go to Texture, or we can just click the Texture button right here. You can click on Layer, go to Change Layer Texture, click the arrow, go to Textures. Now I watched a video on a guy showing me how to do this, and basically what he had told, you know, showed was that there's two kind of textures. You have a low-res texture and a higher-res. Um, we're going to go into here, which is the higher res, when we're going to go to terrain, detail. Basically, these are all, you know, all the stock textures that it comes with. I'm going to use um, this one right here, beach white sand display. Um, hit open. What we're going to do is we're going to click on here, and we're going to go to materials. Now, what you're going to do in here, uh, your screen may look like this when you start it up. Go to materials. Go down to terrain. And basically, you're going to try to you're going to select the same one as the one you selected originally when we went to the layer. Um, mine is up here. Well, I don't even think it's the right one, but we're going to click it because um, this is beach white sand. And we're going to come over here and hit assign material. So now that that's assigned, we're going to come out of here. We're going to go to file, generate surface texture, 512 by 512. That's originally what I had set the size to. Hit OK. So now what that did was it made a camouflage ninja turtle. Well, anyway, from up top, it looks, you know, kind of blurry. And I don't know if this is right, but this is how I saw it in the other video. Um, but when you actually get up close, um, you will see that the texture is a lot more higher quality. Um, it looks like sand with black rocks. You can hit Control G or go up here and go to game and switch to game. To you know, I can basically just show you guys real quick what the sand looks like. You know, it's high quality. You know, glossy. I don't know if this is actually just the basic textures, but this is how it looks. Now you can sell. This is what happens sometimes when you don't. You know, with the hardness, it kind of doesn't fill it in all the time. One thing I love about this one is just gun sounds quality. Um, so next thing we're going to do, hit escape. We're going to go out. So we basically have this. Next thing I want to do is I want to change the uh, time of the day. Um, so what I'm going to do, there's two ways you can do this. I do it this way just because I like to change the position of the sun. You can click on time of the day. I don't know if you can do it in here or not. I haven't really messed with it. But I go to terrain, lighting, and I'm going to do time of day. And I basically want to set it there. And what I'm going to do next is I want to change the sun's position. Um, I basically, just like how that is right there, how it's shining off the water, you can change where this sun goes, as you can see. Like, we can have it shining across the water over there, which, actually, I kind of like that. Um, and we'll leave it basically there. Um, so that's where we're at there, sun shining over there. This is basically all I've learned so far. The only next thing we're going to learn, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do is add vehicles. Um, I haven't figured out how to make buildings. I'm watching a tutorial on Google Sketch. Um, I'll post something if I learn how to do it. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the roll-up bar. And if you don't see it, you can click on Views, go to roll-up bar. And we are going to go to the first screen. We're going to go to Entities. And we're going to scroll down and go to Vehicles. And I'm going to put in an Abrams tank. Uh, basically, we're just going to put that right there. Go back in there. I'm going to go down. I'm going to put in a Blackhawk. And entities. What we're gonna do the speedboat. I haven't figured out yet. I'm assuming it's probably because of scripting. Um, but as soon as I put it in the water, it just sinks. As soon as I go into game mode. So if anybody knows why, let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning all of this. But here's what we have basically so far. Um, control G to get in. Um, we will start off with the Humvee. Do a quick tour around the map. Uh, F to get in. The camera is very sensitive, and I think it's just because it hasn't fully set. Um, what we're gonna do, if you hold shift, it's like a supercharger. So basically, here we are. You can see you know, how the sun quality is over here. And I just, this is why I like the program, it's just, it looks good. 
it actually makes me feel like I'm doing better than I am when I like trying to run the company. It's just like, you know, with the program, you know, this is basically destructible vehicles. Blackhawk. Oh, I accidentally clicked on that as I was moving. Come down. Also, if you want to get close to the ground before you press Control G, otherwise you will die. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and just hop in the tank real quick. Um, you press 2 and switch positions. He doesn't do anything, he just sits up there. Get in. F, same thing. You can press 2 and get in the uh, See how quick the camera just moves around. Um, we can hit 3, go in the back of the view. 4, 5, and that's it. Um, get out of the vehicle. You want to get back outside. Um, same thing with this one. The only way I've found out really how to fly this thing is basically shift. Puts on like a supercharger. Once again, kind of do it one last tour. Another reason why you do the smoothing, hopefully we can get out of here. I didn't do it enough apparently, or I made my hand too high. I didn't just do it enough, but sometimes you can't get out of it. It's too steep, so we'll basically go ahead and set that down. Um, other than that, see, that's what happens when you go too high. You about kill yourself. Other than that, uh, this is what I've learned, guys. Um, kind of wanted just to show my friends, like I said, maybe let's do a collaboration, you know, pop and team speak with us or any of my friends who do see this video on Facebook and maybe you kind of want to help out. I know I got some interesting things. Um, let me know and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.